Hello, my name is Ed, in case we haven't met. And I had a video about um, installing the headboard brackets for a sleep number bed headboard. And uh, the question arose in the comments if I resolve the fact that it wobbles a little bit. Say so here, here's the headboard and here's the bed. The brackets are pretty low, therefore the center of gravity, it's not toward the center of the headboard at all. It's way at the bottom. So I think that's why the weight of the headboard causes this wobble effect. So if you sit down quickly, it can slam against the wall. Um, even if you have it like three inches away from the wall, it still happens to my wife and I. If we sit down too quickly, it'll go bang, hit the wall. It's annoying, of course. I googled that topic and I found this type of product on Amazon. This specific one is the Bedexa bed frame anti-shake tool. It says solid body, wall protection, extra gifts are better to use, whatever that means, adjustable threaded support. So I'm going to take this upstairs and install these anti-shake tools and I'm going to see if that makes a difference and let you know. Okay, I'm going to open this with some scissors and take a look inside. Here's everything it came with. There are actually four of these. These come pre-screwed in together. I just unscrewed this one to show you. And the way it'll work is that this will go against the wall. It's the soft foam. This will get stuck to the headboard. In between, you have these parts to extend the length between these. So I may need one, two, or three sections to fill the void between the headboard and the wall and make that a solid support so the headboard can't move. Here are the instructions. First I need to measure the distance between your shaking furniture and the wall. So I'm going to grab a tape measure. It's about three inches. I'll start out adjusting them to three inches and then we can adjust from there. What I found was that I needed to add more tape to each of these screw sections. So I did these three. I'm going to do this last one so you can see how I did it because I found an easier way to do it. That's to leave it on the roll instead of cutting a piece. First use this finger to help get it to stick on the screw part. You're taking up the slack basically. And we're going to go around a few times just so it has a little bit of thickness. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. Keep holding this, the spool and the other part with the other finger and then you cut it. Like that. Okay, so those are ready. Put one section on each with 10 turns. Okay, so now we need to apply tape to here and then put these on, put tape on there, put these on, put tape on there, and put that in here. So I'll keep it rolling, but I'm probably going to fast forward it for you. So now I have the tape on all of them and on all the sections in between them, I'm going to attach them here to the parts that go to the headboard. Okay. Now I'm really curious how this compares to three inches. It's right in there. It's very close. Okay. 
here they are. So we are ready to head back to the bedroom and attach them and adjust them and see what happens. Uh, from what I can tell, since the instructions don't mention these, these seem to be just extras. So maybe if you needed to readjust these ones after you had, you know, taken the paper off and stuck it on, maybe it's so you can add a fresh one at a later date. That's my guess. It's kind of nice they include that. Okay, let's go do it. I'm going to relocate to the bedroom. Okay, looks like these surfaces are a bit dusty. So I'm just going to wipe them off with a wet paper towel a little bit. Dry with a dry paper towel. Do the other side. I'm going to let that dry for about five minutes. Okay, time's up. It's time to do the installs. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to remove the paper from the first one. Let's see. So maybe... I want to do it evenly. So I'm going to get the tape measure. Here they are installed on the first side. I measured down five inches from the top and then five inches from this part, just to sort of um, be able to measure them evenly on the other side. So now I'm gonna go to the other side. So we've got them on both sides of the headboard and now it's time for a little test. Okay, I'm going to go quick do the jump test. Jump in bed. Ugh. Okay, try the other side. And, I looked at the playback and it looks like the headboard didn't move, which is great. Now I want you to keep in mind you can fine tune this by either unscrewing if you need to lengthen it or screwing in if you need to shorten it for each section plus the end piece. It's kind of like a table level or something of that nature so you can really get it to have full contact. Okay so any kind of light movement is not going to cause the headboard to move around. Obviously you know if you really take your hand into it but you're not going to do that when you're sleeping. 